mean there's no tissue match for the kid? It's from heaven. You find one or they'll be held to pay. The greatest PR crew since OCP took the Nobel Prize for profit margins. Call everyone. Call the president. What? Oh, well, then call her husband. Fuck me, sack time. The whole world's gonna know we're in this kid's corner. What? What? But here at Metaplex? It's booked up. Well, I don't care who it's assigned to. Those lungs go to the boy. I don't care about the peace conference. Book me the sack time. Nothing matters more than Josh Avery. Nothing matters more than the Josh Avery campaign. These people should get their priorities straight. Tell me about it. Give us three minutes and we'll give you the world. This is Media Break with Bo Harlan and Rocky Crenshaw. A dramatic rescue in old Detroit as nine-year-old Josh Avery and his parents are plucked from the notorious Stompers gang. Unfortunately, this brave little guy's troubles were far from over as he was rushed to the Omni Metaplex. Sadly, Bo, this young recipient of a lung transplant or allograft now finds his life threatened yet again by a malfunctioning organ with no replacement in sight. Yes, Rocky, consumer demand is taking its toll. Prices are skyrocketing. The result? The organ market is booming. Independent dealers report prices for high demand organs, such as lungs and kidneys, are at an all time high. Enter Josh's guardian angel, the chairman of OCP. We'll do everything possible to make sure Josh Avery gets his transplant. Because OCP cares. There's a company with heart, or uh, should I say lungs? <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. It's time for Commander Cash! <laughs> Happy birthday, Susie! Here's your mandatory library card. Wow! What's this barcode? Glad you asked. That barcode is your organ donor information. See? This John Doe is going to make a lot of people happy. So, be a superhero. Be a super donor. The OCP library card. It's not just for books anymore. It heals and it's the law. Mr. Chairman. Elliot. I was just notified about this lung procedure. Now, as chief of staff, I have to say... We're saving the life of a child, Dr. Marner. We've already reached our quota of charity cases for this fiscal year. I, how's it going to sit with the board? I'll take care of the board. You take care of little Josh. How do you feel? Kind of scared, maybe. I guess I'm not brave like you. We have all been afraid. I just want to be like other kids again. Do you know? Yes. I know. Open that organ bank, sister, and no alarms.
now what? This. Stay with the party. Mr. Chairman. Line, then let's quit. Okay, everybody clear. Officer Alex Murphy shot to death in the line of duty. Legally, he's dead. We can pretty much do what we want. There's a new guy in town. His name's Robocop. Murphy, it is you. Easy as cream, ain't that what Doc said? Ain't some a thing, Brain. Watch the road. Don't call him Doc. He's sensitive about it. You're crazy, you know that? And I don't care what Doc thinks. Look out! Step out of the car or there will be trouble. He's got us. Grit your teeth, Galahad. Excuse me, Dr. Marner? 
I'm Detective Madigan. I'd like to go over the crime scene with you, please. Did Robocop catch him yet? Um, no, he didn't, sweetie, but he will. See you later. What if they question us? We can't lie to the police. So what's the going rate for lungs these days? Seven figures, I suppose. I don't keep up with it. That's a lot of money. Who would pay that? Other hospitals? Absolutely not. All organs are DNA coded and cross-filed. No hospital would touch stolen organs. So the black market, then? Well, you'd know more about that than I would. What are the chances of finding Josh another pair of lungs? Well, he's got antibodies that reject almost everything. Well, then how long can he? A day. Two at most. We'll do our best for him. Yeah, we all will. Vince! How goes it in Maui? Talk to me. I'm dying to treaty. Where are my lungs? Got a line on some USDA prime. Child donor, mint condition. Might cost you a little extra. I said I'd go to four mil. Costs are high, Vince. Payoffs, overhead, well, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I hear that new designer drug of yours is number one on the Polynesian hit parade. Shut the crap to treaty. I got a five mil and that's it. And remember this. No one messes with Vince Thanatos and lives. From your mouth to my ears. Of course you did. The plan was perfect. Ha! We almost got caught. What happened? Oh, the robot tracked us. Well, there's only one way that could happen. Security chip. We know how to take care of that now, don't we? I said, come out. Oh, Lord. Oh, I wasn't going to steal the car. I was just going to sleep in it. Give me that container. Eh? Oh, sure. I wasn't going to steal it either. Here, take it. It's yours. It is a bomb. Huh? Ah! Bomb going off in front of me. 
robots running around in police cars. It's getting so a fella can't even drink one damn bottle no more. Whoa! Take it easy, man. Just don't stab me. Two guys and a dame. They took off in a van, okay? One shot and it's history. Is that them? That's them, yeah. They're the ones. What kind of van? No. Hello? Whoa! Yeah, right there! Yeah, that's it! Mighty Van 450. Yeah, it was white with a yellow stripe on it. You may go now. <laughs> what do you mean? Thank you for your cooperation. Good night. Shift the green one there. It's the pancreas for Otto. Money. In the bank. Now we can get that dungeon. You are the most depraved woman I have ever known. I was a cheerleader. Ooh. So listen, I'm doing a file scan here, but nothing has showed up. This is a very tight little world they have. They had inside help? Yeah, I'd say so. How can someone do that to a child? This boy's really gotten to you, hasn't he? Josh and I have much in common. Dr. Marner, report to room 2251, code blue. Dr. Marner, That's Josh's room, I gotta go. Vince, my supplier's a thief. He won't release the goods unless he gets a million more. What? I know, these are the type of people that I gotta deal with. It's not like the drug trade. There's no integrity. You tell him I'll bust his chops. Uh, just take him someplace else, Vince. You wanna forget it? No. <coughs> Pay it. Just make sure you have him by tomorrow. Think he bought it? What choice does he have? I got him by the lungs. <laughs> it's getting harder to stabilize him. I don't understand why. It wasn't a perfect organ. It was, it was the only one we could get to keep Josh alive. Where's its certification? There isn't any. What? Are you saying it was a black market organ? Do you realize that's a felony? Who performed the surgery? Come on, guys, who performed the surgery? Dr. Bailey. <sighs> Janet Bailey. I dismissed her from here five years ago. Her patient recovery record was a scandal. No wonder the boys like this. My son would be dead now if it wasn't for Dr. Bailey. She helped us when no one else would, and Joe and I will always be grateful to her. Amy's right. She did everything she could. Where did you get the organ? Dr. Bailey got it. Where is she now? Do you know? She's not going to talk to you. Well, then she'll talk to you. Let's go. Yeah. Who? Bailey. That's Otto Gilbert's turf. I see. Well, we'll have to do something about that now, won't we? It's on my card. Can we get someone to sew this back on, please? Dr. Bailey, please. I need your help. This is Detective Madigan. All right, show me your warrant. No warrant. Just some information about your source for black market organs. Are you joking? I'd be safer in jail. Time is short, Doctor. Does Josh's life mean anything to you? Of course it does. What kind of a question is that? Well, your reputation at Metaplex... ...was ruined. 
Because I operated on high-risk patients no one else would touch. Naturally, my PSR plummeted. And what is PSR? Patient survival rating. That's how she ended up here. Josh got the best lungs I could find. Believe me, Joe. I know. Doctor, your source, please. Otto Gilbert. Come in, come in, come in, come in, my favorite people, you brought the pancreas. Show it to him, Luis. Oh, please, I trust you. You want I should credit your account? That would be fine. So, how's business, Otto? I'm thinking of retiring. I'm not so young like I used to be. Is this how you leave your records, Otto? Just lying around? Who comes here? My friends. There, you're all set. Yeah, I trust you, I told Hey! Hey! Hey, what are you doing? Sit down! It's just acid on him. It's good for cleaning things up. You mentioned retirement. Gilbert was a middleman. He procured the organs and then passed them on. Damn, these records could have incriminated a lot of people. And they would all have a motive to kill him. Yeah, but why now? You know what I mean? Right now, when we want to question this guy, this has got to be connected to Josh Avery. Who could have known that? Well, whoever it was covered their tracks permanently. Your assessment may be premature. This one, D-E something, I-T. Where is that, um, the list of Mighty Van owners? D-E-T-R-I-T-I, Detriti, first name Ardo. No current registration. I'll do a data scan on them. Gilbert's organ inventory. Okay, here it is, Ardo de Treaty. Kicked out of Hillsdale College Med School so he'd have the expertise. Now if the boy's lungs are listed. We can use the DNA code to trace them back to the donor. That's great. Nice job, Murphy. Thank you, Madigan. Take downtime? An emergency. Josh Avery? Yes. I cannot access OCP Pharmacorp files. So you want me to hack in? What for? There's a criminal named Detriti who needs nitrogen gas and organ containers. Which Pharmacorp happens to sell? I'll buzz through Metronet and get back to you.
Why aren't you taking inventory, Dave? Why don't you give me something for my foot, Doc? Ignore him. He's a worm. Yeah, I know. But if the worm isn't careful, he won't be taking the inventory. He will be the inventory. Josh's lungs. Stoner had lung disease? a place like this, Jerry. A man who went expecting us, Tom. <laughs> Greedy. What do you mean? Greedy how? Hey, hey, wait up! Nobody ever tells me nothing. Vince would go this far. Don't worry. We'll handle him. I know you will. I'm a lucky man. Get it, sweetheart. I'm Tom. I'm Jerry. Where's, Where's the, the treaty? treaty? Murphy, any luck digging up a location on the treaty? 1514 Iacocca Parkway. 1514. Thank you. The treaty he is at 1514 Iacocca Parkway. Someone with you? There is no person here. All right, I'll meet you there. I am not programmed to lie. It makes things difficult. Alex, you're too much. Here's the new deal, the treaty. I'll pay you four million. And you get a bonus. I'll let you live. Hmm. <clears throat> that sounds fair. Anything goes wrong, and I'll take your lungs. <laughs> no anesthesia. Well, you heard the man. Don't do it. What choice do I have? Which 
one. The green one. cooperation. Hey, be careful. That's Vince's life in your hand. You are under arrest. Hand over the container. you get loose? They didn't tie me up like you do. <laughs> hey! Uh, watch it! Surrender, or my line of fire drops two feet. Two feet? Look, this is just a job, right? You have a definite point. <laughs> Look, uh, you want this, big guy? Huh? Come on, let's get out of here. Far as you go, gentlemen, right there. Hold it, around the car. Let's go, hands up. Great, you got it. We gotta get those to the hospital. I scanned it. It is empty. Let's go. What are we uh... doing in here? No, we're gonna have a little talk and life will be a lot easier if you two cooperate. We wanna see a lawyer. There is no time. Right. Josh is worse. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? Come on now, Robo, don't Get do this, all right? They have the rights! Oh, this is great! The system's malfunction. I've seen him like this before. This is not good, guys. Police brutality. Uh, tell him to stop! I can't! Not when he's like this! Dismember mode. Oh. oh, God, he's gonna tear us apart. Give him what he wants. Tell him who you work for. It's the only way to go. He's gonna lose it. Finn Stanatos! He wants us to send the lungs to Maui. Oh, Fast! Maui. That's, That's all, all we, we know! know. <laughs> A good citizen always tells the truth, right? Right. Right. Absolutely. Let's go, guys. Got a nice, comfy cell waiting for you. <laughs> easy, easy. Very impressive. Kind of a good cop, bad cop thing, huh? You make quite a team. You could say that. I need files on all recent Bitfo transmissions to Hawaii. For Mr. Thanatos? The treaty. What's he look like? Charming. It's customary, nurse, to get authorization before opening up hospital files. She has authorization. I see. Doctor, we found the most terrible thing. Substandard organs have been removed from the hospital inventory. Substandard organs are destroyed. Apparently not. Apparently they're being channeled into the black market. Josh's defective lungs originated from a tuberculosis victim in this hospital. What? Are you sure? Sorry. I think it's time I did some investigating of my own. Listen, who besides yourself knows these... Where did you get that cut? Oh, uh, Dr. Marner handed them out last year when Hillsdale won the big game. He 
He's very proud of his alma mater. Change of plans, Vince. Tom and Jerry are out of the picture. But thanks to me, the lungs are safe. And I insist on living up to my obligation. What's your game to treating? Vince, please. My word is my bond. I'll hand deliver them, personally. <laughs> Okay, Alex, here's a vid phone transmission from Hawaii. Vince, please. My word is my bond. I'll hand deliver him. Personally. There's a program Learjet waiting for you at the Motown Island airstrip. You can take my boat. It's slip 44. How's that? Good. Now it is up to me. Good luck. Robocop is close to recovering the organs. Shouldn't your staff be getting ready? Well, there's a hitch, Mr. Chairman. Uh, none of the doctors will risk an operation that could mean a ten-point cut in their PSR. We'll forget the ratings this time. Uh, the PSR is regulated by the Geneva Corporate Medicine Treaty. There's nothing we can do. I'd say you've done enough already, Dr. Marner. What are you talking about? Take a look at this after-hour entry log from the organ bank. Where did you get this? It's not important. Do you recognize the code? It's mine, but anyone could have accessed my code card. I'm... <clears throat> You're not suggesting that I skimmed off those organs. Oh, I'm more than suggesting, sir. Why would Dr. Marner do such a thing? I wondered that myself, and then I tapped into his records at Hillsdale Medical School. You had a classmate named Ardo de Treaty, correct? Uh, that's right. <laughs> he was kicked out for cheating on his finals. After claiming that another student helped him, you were that other student, doctor. That's ridiculous. You paid him off, but he wouldn't go away. He threatened to expose you unless you contributed to his black market operation. That's why Josh Avery wound up with defective lungs, and that is why the replacements were stolen. Is this true? It, it, it wasn't like that. The organs were substandard, useless, and I... I never dreamed a treaty would, would break in here. Then why did you give him your access code? Come on, doctor, say the words. You're a thief and you're a liar. God, what a scandal. There's something about the motion of the boat that makes me, uh, you know. Oh, I know. <laughs> Goodbye, old Detroit. Aloha, Hawaii. on water. think he is. He can't hold us. Can't hold us, huh? That's what I said.
There's one compensation. What? It feels fantastic. Yes, old Detroit breathes a collective sigh of relief today, and that includes little Josh Avery himself, after coming through his allograft operation with flying colors, thanks to the compassionate chairman of OCP. Josh Avery has been saved. We're grateful. But let's not forget the thousands more just like him in old Detroit. As a friend of mine would say, we've got a system that needs fixing. And OCP cares. Well said, Aubrey. Thank you, sir. The chairman has learned a valuable lesson. Yeah, and monkeys may fly out of my... Never mind. Look. Do me a favor, will you? Take a break. I'm gonna treat myself to a flux show. I cannot. Somewhere there is a crime happening. Alex, you're too much. Oh. 